and welcome along to another Motorhome Diary and today we're coming to you from North Wales. It's New Year's Eve 2011 and my husband and I have decided to see in the new year with a bit of a difference. Now first of all I must say I've been so impressed with the campsite here. The facilities are absolutely state-of-the-art, extremely clean, extremely high standard all round. But the real reason that you come to North Wales is over there. We've had the privilege of waking up to this every morning. Now this is what I love about motorhoming. Quite by chance we've walked into the number one tea shop in Wales, the award-winning Kemlin tea shop. That's right, isn't it, Jeff? Yeah, Kemlin, top tea place in Wales, 2011. Congratulations, Thank fantastic. You very much. Why is um, North Wales good for motorhomers in particular? We've got fantastic campsites here. We've got plenty of them. They have fabulous views. You could be within 100 yards of the beach. Uh, there are lots and lots of different areas. We've got very busy areas down here in North Wales. There are areas which are very quiet. You can be completely off the beaten track. You can find lots of hidden gems. So something for everybody? Absolutely, yeah. Now we're actually um, sitting with uh, Harlech Castle in the background and I think I'm right in saying that Wales has more castles per square mile than anywhere else in Europe. So great history right. in the area, isn't there? Absolutely, yeah. The castles here in Harlech dates from 1283 when, when uh, Edward I started his castle. He carried on, took about four or five years to, to finish um, and then had this fantastic ring of castles across North Wales. It was almost like the Star Wars of its day. Very technologically advanced. Um, he had castle builders coming in from Savoy across on the continent so it was cutting edge technology of its day here. But Jeff, I think it's obvious that most people would come here for Snowdonia National Park, which of course is absolutely stunningly beautiful, but there's more to the area than just that, isn't there? The area also has lots of Bronze Age, Iron Age, Stone Age um, artefacts that have been found here. There's a cross on the top of the hills here, just behind us, there's a, there's a nice mountain range called the Rinogs. Um, and you, you can be walking up there with some quite tough walking if you want mm -hmm. or some gentle strolls. You could come several times to the same place and see completely different things. So in the winter time you could, from here you can look across to Snowdon and see the snow-capped mountains. In the summertime obviously you've got the summertime, the gorse, mm -hmm. which bright yellow on the mountain sides is, is fantastic. You've actually been involved with a website that might be of interest to motorhomers. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Secret Snowdonia. So a website set up just for this area and that's been continually um, updated with all the latest news. There is also a major walking path which runs from uh, Barmer through to Kilvor, which is just across the back here, across the Rinox, and that's called Our Did We Way. And it recently won the Rough Guide uh, as the best walk to buy a pair of boots for. It's definitely true to say that wherever you are in North Wales, you're never far from a beach. And just at the end of this boardwalk, we've discovered a hidden gem. Miles and miles of deserted beach that can be enjoyed at any time of the year and just a short walk from our motorhome. Just a few steps off the tourist trail is this amazing church, Clandelic Church. And as you can see, it's actually in the sand dunes. There has been a church on this site since 435 AD. And over the many hundreds of years, the sand gradually built up. And by the Second World War, the sand dunes had completely covered the church and just the bell tower at the top there was sticking out of the sand dunes. Now luckily in the 60s some archaeologists and students came along and dug the church out of the sand and it is now used for services. There's no electricity here so everything is done by candlelight inside and outside you can actually see some tombs 
um, that date back to the 5th century and I really have loved my visit here, it's been one of the highlights of my trip. I hope you've enjoyed our little snapshot of North Wales and of course we've only had the chance to just scratch the surface. There's so much more to see and do at any time of the year. So whether you choose to do a tour of castles or maybe a golf tour, there's Royal St David's in the background there, fantastic championship golf course, or maybe just go wherever the road takes you, that is the joy of motorhoming. And the one thing you can be sure of is that you can change your view. Thank you for watching.